anytime, anywhere, any place, Joe, except on the Wednesdays, weekends, Fridays, Thursdays, Tuesdays, or Mondays. I'll be ready. When you bring in on Alan Underpants as one of your chief backers, there has to be something screw loose. If you do me a favor, just press the like button if you think, yes, Trump is a liar. Press the like button. Simple. Uh, it's the only way we have to actually send some type of message because I don't get it. Stands outside the court, pontificates garbage, uh, doesn't take any questions. Literally. Uh, just material, I suppose, for him to campaign and spread amongst his uh, sheep. There is zero, zero factual truth, honesty, anything in about in what you're about to see. Uh, the only reason I share it is because we can fall, this is the craziest thing, into a dangerous uh, cesspit, which probably already in, they, they would like us to do, is where we censor and ignore it. That isn't the answer. To me, just let the world see what a buffoon, with literally a circus behind him, like <laughs> clapping and baying sheep. Sheep? Oh. Still in the, still in the, 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 still in the chair, I'm Michael Cohen. Campaigning. As you know, I was supposed to be in a very different state this morning, and the judge actually decided to call this early. And yet, it looks like we're going to have a very big gap between days, and it's going to be determined right now in court. But we're here about an hour early today. I was supposed to be making a speech for political purposes. I'm not allowed to uh, have anything to do with politics because I'm sitting in a very freezing cold uh, courtroom for the last four weeks. It's very unfair. Uh, they have no case. They have no crime. It's been uh, determined by everybody, every legal scholar, New York Post editorial board today, Trump prosecution wind down. It's always been a witch hunt with a prosecution winding down in Donald Trump's Manhattan case. We have to ask in the immortal words of Peggy Lee, is that all there is? That's the New York Post editorial board. It's become utterly apparent if that wasn't uh, seen already, that the key elements to any prosecution is missing. The key element is missing, and it says, what's missing? A crime. There's no crime. You know, they go through all this stuff, and there was nothing done wrong. NDAs are perfect. And by the way, legal expenses, you know, we paid a legal expense. You know what it's marked down in the book says? A legal expense. Again, it's not marked down as construction. It's not marked down as sheetrock and cinder block. It's marked down as legal expense. You have a lawyer, you pay him a legal expense, and it's covered in the book as legal expense. I had nothing to do with it. A bookkeeper put it down as a legal expense. This is why I'm here, because we called it a legal expense, a payment to a lawyer. Jonathan Turley, even liberal experts have continued to express doubt over where's the crime? Andy McCarthy, let's stick with the relevant, undisputed facts of the case. Mershon should dismiss this case. He should dismiss this case immediately. Bragg's evidence is woefully inadequate. This case should be dismissed. It should have never been brought. And the judge is highly conflicted. He's a corrupt judge. He's highly conflicted. He's totally corrupt. And he's interfering with an election. Greg Jarrett, there is no credible evidence of a crime. Bragg's case against the accused is beyond the demon. It is an audacious, and let's see, it is an audacious corruption of the legal process and a very dangerous one. No fair or competent judge dedicated to upholding justice would have ever allowed such a case. It's a train wreck. And he goes on and on and on. No judge except this one would allow this case to continue. He's corrupt. Alan Dershowitz, who I think is standing right behind me. We have many people from Congress, senators, congressmen. We've had them here all week. And I say, don't come. And by the way, outside looks like it's supposed to be Fort Knox. There are more police than I've ever seen anywhere because they don't want to have anybody come down. There's not a civilian within three blocks of the courthouse. But at Columbia University, you can set up a tent and burn down the doors right opposite the front entrance. It's a disgrace. Alan Dershowitz, Trump trial, 
is a stupendous legal catastrophe. All Americans, regardless of political affiliation, should be appalled at this selective prosecution. Today, this is a, it's a great term. I should use it now. I will. Selective prosecution. Uh, this all comes from the White House. It all comes from the DOJ and the White House. Take a look who's in the room. This all comes from the DOJ and the White House. It's an attack on Biden, who's mentally unfit. He's mentally unfit to be the president of this country. It's an attack on his political opponent. That's all it is. All of the things you see that you saw over the last four weeks, most of it should have never even been brought up. And then on top of that, there's no crime. And we go on day after day, and I can I tell Iowa, I'm sorry, I won't be able to make it. I tell New Hampshire, sorry, I won't be able to make it. I'm sitting in a nice box all day. Today, this is Alan Dershowitz. Today, the target is Trump. Tomorrow, it may be a Democrat. After that, you and me, who knows? The criminal justice system is on trial in New York. It's making New York State. I love this state. I love the people of this state. I'm running hard in New York. I think we're going to win New York. But it's making New York and our judicial system. And then I had Judge Kaplan, who's horrible, the most biased people. And they gave me three judges. And Gorin, he didn't know. He doesn't know the first thing about finance. It's supposed to be a trial in front of the complex divisions, so for complex situations. He had no idea. He said mar lago is worth $18 million when it's worth a billion to a billion five, it's worth a hundred times the amount, 50 to a hundred times. All corrupt and it's all coordinated. It's a shame. Mark Levin, John Adams said liberty without virtue is tyranny. We have tyranny right now. We have tyranny right now and we're disgracing our New York court system. And we're really disgracing our country because all over the world they're watching. Bill O'Reilly, Donald Trump and his family do not deserve this blatant miscarriage of justice. Don't applaud the destruction of justice because you may be on the receiving end someday. That's Bill O'Reilly and hundreds of others. I don't think there's one person that says that this trial is legitimate and everybody's talking about the judge. The judge shouldn't be doing this trial. He's totally Conflicted. This is the most conflicted judge probably in the history of the court system. And everyone knows what I'm talking about. Uh, thank you very much. Will you testify? Will you testify, Mr. Trump? Does it come to you to testify? Will you Senator Katie Britton, Senator Ted Cruz, you watch the President of the United States. He's got about four lawmakers and attorney general. Uh Inside Donald Trump's prison cell, the surroundings are like any other small enclosed space. The walls are gray concrete, and a narrow cot with a thin mattress is the only piece of furniture. A tiny metal sink and toilet combo sit in one corner, while a small barred window allows a sliver of natural light to filter in. The sound of clanking bars echoes through the air as guards patrol the hallway outside. What? What? What is... President Trump is 76 years old. He will die in federal prison. Trump spends his days pacing the limited floor space. The once powerful man now finds himself in a place of confinement. 